John Will here with my flea market finds for May 25th, 2014. Uh, not a whole lot to show you this week uh, as compared to my past few weeks. Uh, it's the uh, Memorial Day weekend which kept a lot of people I think from uh, setting up like, yard sales in the flea market. Uh, still managed to find some pretty good stuff. Um, let me show you what I got. We have uh, board games. Let's see, it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen different uh, games. Uh, Gilbert chemistry outfit. Check it out. This guy. Basic materials used in making fireworks. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, Pirate and Traveler. Uh, this one has a copyright date of 1936. Uh, should go good with the uh, Pirate Collectors. And it's in really good shape. Now, end up being $175 for these uh, games altogether. Magician set, magic stuff sells well. It's got the magic wand in there. Veda the Magic Answer Man. I guess that's something like a Ouija uh, thing. It's got the little guy in there. Uh, electric hot potato. Pretty cool. Electric tic-tac-toe. Cast right home foundry metal casting set. Pretty neat. You know they'd never make anything like this today. <laughs> Uh, this one was pretty neat. Gilbert Puzzles. Uh, wasn't used very much. Still pretty much in the original uh, packaging. And our old Erector set. Beat the Clock TV show. Here's another uh, Magic set. Seen better days, but still. Um, between the Magic collectors and uh, the board game collectors should do well. Uh, Gilbert Microscope Set. And Gilbert Fun with Electricity. Uh, what This is the game that convinced me to buy the whole lot because, um, you know, it's a lot of money to spend on board games. However, when I looked this one up, uh, I found examples of this going for over $140. Um, needs a little cleaning, but... Uh, um, overall, I think I'm going to do pretty good. I just sold a set of glasses. Um, exactly like this. Uh, for $30, like a week ago. I went to a yard sale. And set of four for a dollar. So, I'll, since I sold my last set for 30 that's what I'll put on these. Still in the original box. Uh, not a bad profit there. Finally found a gun. And uh, they call this a Zulu uh, shotgun. Um, actually started out life back around 1850 as a French musket, military musket. Then the French came along and uh, put a uh, con did a conversion like a uh, they call this a Snyder conversion, where they took the black powder rifle, cut the receiver, made it into a little door so that they could insert cartridges, make it a single shot uh, rifle. 
Uh, after the French were done with these, uh, they went on the surplus market and somebody bought them up and uh, converted it to shoot uh, shotgun shells. This is now a 12 gauge shotgun. Uh, I wouldn't try shooting it, but I love the history of the piece. I picked this one up for $100 even. Uh, just a great wall hanger. It's going in my own collection. And uh, between its looks and the history, uh, I think it's a pretty good deal. It isn't worth a ton of money. Uh, probably only worth $150, $200. Uh, but it's in pretty good shape considering all it's been through. And uh, look great uh, in the collection. This is probably my uh, best buy of the uh, of the week. It's a World War II Japanese bayonet, and they call this a last ditch bayonet because the uh, bayonet here, the bayonet scabbard, is made out of uh, wood, bamboo, something like that. It was near the end of the war when uh, materials were starting to uh, um, get in short supply. The Japanese were looking for ways that they could uh, um, save material, like steel. So nothing really fancy on the uh, bayonet as compared to uh, other ones. You can see what I paid, 10 bucks. Uh, got the maker's marks on it. And I'm thinking this is at least a $125 bayonet. Um, that one may end up in my collection also. A couple uh, checkers games. Still new in the original box. That was three dollars for the uh, for a pair of them. An old uh, American League ball. Uh, William Harridge, president. Um, I think that dates it. I think he was American League president back in the 50s. Um, so it would be not too bad for $3. Got a Smokey the Bear doll for 5 bucks, Old stuffed doll. Uh, this is pretty neat. $3. It's Lionel uh, Artificial Cold in Lionel Corp. I guess for... Uh, doing a uh, display, a garden, train garden. 101 Dalmatian book uh, with a copyright in 1961. Uh, it's not the original 101 Dalmatians, uh, but for two bucks, uh, pretty good. St. Louis Browns, uh, that's what uh, they became the uh, Baltimore Orioles. So that really dates this. Uh, it looks like something that went on the brim of a hat. Uh, $3. Um, cool piece. Uh, Got to be some Browns collectors out there. Maybe even a Baltimore Oriole collector would want that. Check it out. <clears throat> this, I thought it was a label gun, but it's a paper. Um paper gun and it's like a cap gun watch this pretty loud for uh, just paper oh check out Beatrix 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 what you got we just got some mulch delivered in uh, <laughs> she likes going through there and chilling on it. Uh, let's see, so that takes care of that lot. Super pneumatic, really well made, all metal. Uh, so the paper basically forms a seal against there and uh, it uses air and when air uh, pushes through the paper you get that snapping sound. Uh, pay 12 for that. Uh, five dollars little uh, juicer hand crank juicer made by uh, 
Daisy, which is uh, um, I've seen the Daisy churns, but I've never seen a Daisy juicer. This is really cool. This is a snow skate. You got the snowboard, and you got the uh, uh, runners on the bottom there. Rails, snow skate. Kind of uh, different. Um, paid twenty dollars for that. N never seen one like that before. Antique picture frame from. Uh, I guess you would call this early 1900s, maybe late 1800s. Um, that was five bucks, and a couple of uh, hats, uh, rangers, and dolphins. They were a buck a piece, and that's it. That's all I got to show you. But uh, pretty happy with uh, what I found. Uh, I realized getting up this morning probably wouldn't be too much, but. Uh, um, still got out there and uh, uh, found a few good things um, all you have to do is find one good thing to make it worthwhile so uh, till next time this is uh, Will York Sales Survivalist check out my uh, store on eBay Terminal 99 which is where most of this stuff will be uh, showing up um, because it's a light week uh, give me a chance to uh, catch up on all the other stuff that hasn't uh, been put on so it'll be a good catch-up week uh, so uh, till next time uh, this is Will and uh, we'll talk again soon